All right, today we're going to be looking at 2.3, Composition of Functions. <clears throat> um, we have a definition um, here and some examples showing you uh, the function notation, uh, what we do. Um, you're given a function, um, and you might have another function. Uh, where's the k function at? This is a Fahrenheit. Um, you would take one function, plug it into the other, and then be able to solve it. So this is just one of the many examples that you'll see with composition of functions. <clears throat> so this is the notation. It looks like fog, F-O-G, but this is like a little, almost the same symbol they use for degree, um, but it's used for composition of function. It's writ read F of G or F composed of G, okay, composition of F and G. <clears throat> where when you see this notation it means we're going to be taking um, the g of x equation and plugging it in for f of x so the notation you're used to seeing is you see f of something means you plug a number in for x well this time instead of plugging a number in for x you're going to be plugging a whole equation in for x you will have to be given those equations so here's an example here's an f here's a g equation and then it says find each of these following so what I want you to see is here, f composed of g, or f of g of x is the way that I was taught to read it. So we're going to be taking the f equation, which is 2x minus 5, and instead of x, we're going to replace that x. So it's the 2, the x got replaced with the whole g equation right here, okay? So this whole thing went into place of x, and then you add your minus 5 at the back. So this is what you're going to do, and then you will solve it from there. Okay, there's several more examples, which I will work these with you in my math lab. I'm trying to see if there was any other special points that we we got to solve, got to see. <clears throat> so we're also going to go over decomposition of functions. So this is working backwards. Now, when you have a composition and you want to work backwards, there are more than one correct answer but the simplest way to do it is to think there's an inner function and then there's an outer function so the inner function is always going to be what you plugged in so that would be my g of x or my second expression the outer function so something raised to the fifth power that's what i would call my f function or my first so that's the easiest way to do it it always works there are multiple ways of doing it, but this is probably the simplest way that I know. So what they're doing is they're showing you, okay, h of x is the composition of f and g. Can you tell me what f and g were or give me two possibilities? So what we're doing, um, this function says raises this to the fifth power. So two functions that could work would be x to the fifth, and then you plug in 2x minus 3 to x to the fifth, and you get this. So that's one way. And as you go through these examples, I think they might show you another way of writing uh, something similar uh, to that. And then I think that's the main uh, part or most of what we see here because we get into examples. Okay, so we're going to jump on over to my math lab and actually start doing some composition functions. <clears throat> 